We're gonna go raid. Uh, we're gonna go raid. Bit rated. Bit rated. Well, let's go. This is bit rated. Hello, everyone. Uh, lovely. Well, first is first. Hello, welcome. This is Bit Raid, episode three. I am Mr. Unscore Zendo. We've got our co-host Mella21. He will appear in a minute. It's like magic. He's Hello! Whoa, he's here! Oh my god, <laughs> magic! <laughs> How's it going? You alright? Hello everyone. Yeah, it's good, man. It's good. All is well. Lolfulu <laughs> is our guest this week. Welcome, Lolfulu. Hello. Thanks for coming. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's good to be here. So, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, your stream, Lolfulu. Okay, I am a wholesome-ish variety streamer. Uh, I started, I guess, almost three years ago when I accidentally hit the share button on my PS4 controller. Uh, streaming a lot of <laughs> Is that like, really uh, how you went live first? That's great. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, streaming a lot of co-op games. Uh, okay, who do you stream that with? Really friendly people. Oh man. Uh, so Warframe is probably my main co-op game that I, I play mm -hmm. the most of these days. Uh, I play with Ezreal one twelve sometimes when he has room. I play a lot with uh, a guy from uh, Israel, Matt Badly plays. Uh, a guy from Iceland, Boomy Boomy Boy. A bunch of people I just met through streaming, like a, a bunch, like through uh, through the channel mm -hmm. chat. It's really good. It's just uh, I highly recommend uh, starting out streamers try out the the PVE like co op centric games because the communities there tend to be very friendly, and it's a good place to start. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. What's uh, your favorite game that you've played recently? Oh man, uh, I'm hooked on this uh, Super Dragon Ball Heroes World mission. Awesome. It's uh, like a CC, and it and it's basically a gotcha game with no paid functions. You, it's just like you buy the game, and it's apparently a port of an arcade game that's hella popular in Japan that like everybody already knew about but me. Yeah, uh, it's it's, a, I believe it, it's like Dokkan Battle, isn't it? Is that the? Yeah. It's like a port of that. My, uh, bit, like, my cousin yeah. plays it. Um, but it's slightly different, isn't it? Because the Dokkan Battle is more like uh, to do with just the cards and the training cards and stuff, and then this is like I think more turn based or anything. Yeah, it's turn based with a lot of like weird uh, action arcade game elements, like oh, draw the thing, swipe the thing over here, chow, 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 that kind of stuff. That was my professional reenactment of <laughs> Dragon Ball sound effects. Just now, you're welcome. Yeah, that, they were they were like top notch. I felt like I was really in there. Yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm open for voice acting work. <laughs> I will contact my sure agent. Let them know. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Um, I remember seeing uh, a while ago uh, you were doing like a real life stream on a bike. Oh yeah, I used to do those. I had a day job where I was a bike courier, uh, and it was super easy just ah, to that's what it was. Put a dash cam on my handle. Uh, um, probably not the most safe because I didn't really have any security. Like, there was nothing really stopping someone from just walking up and stealing my bike, my phone off my bike while I was having to go wait at desks for people to come get their food on delivery. So, probably not the most sustainable. Um, probably bringing it back when I get a phone that can handle streaming because that was another issue is technical, technical problems galore. But it was really fun. We had, uh, I had my 15 minutes when, uh, I caught a car chase on camera. No way. Uh, and it, <laughs> like, it like zoomed right past me. It was a whole thing. Uh, what, with like police it, cars and stuff? Yeah, it was, well, uh, I'm just like on a delivery, just saying some nonsense, kind of at the end of the day, kind of slow. Uh, and then it, the, the telltale sound of someone revving an engine way too fast toward a red light came on. I just assumed it was I, another okay. guy. We have a lot around here with just like, it's usually just like a guy with a, a big truck. He's trying to compensate for stuff and he's just, new. but in this case it was, a smoking red uh, Corvette just like right past. <laughs> I, it wasn't that close. It felt pretty close, but it wasn't that close, really. Did you uh, feel like you were in GTA? A little bit, yeah. He definitely pressed triangle for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't play enough GTA because he crashed like uh, two blocks down trying to like drift around a corner. It didn't work out for him. Uh, okay. and got Hit the granny for He got points. the first part right. Yeah, <laughs> he actually hit a he hit a Volvo. Thankfully, so no one was hurt. Oh, it was a great. 
Because <laughs> Volvo is uh, famously indestructible, right? <laughs> yeah, it was barely damaged, and he hit it going like 70 around a corner or so. I mean, he could have hit himself and damaged himself and, and if it was a Volvo. Yeah, they, that's. I was glad nobody was hurt. Um, and, you know, kind of sad it happened, you know, two blocks, like, two blocks later. So that wasn't on camera. Uh, and it was it was on the same direction. Like, it was, while well, I was on the way to, like, my, my drop-off was, like, the next block on the right. So I just kind of, like, kept going on the sidewalk. What was you delivering? Was it, like, food or was it, like, pizza? Yeah, it was food. It was, uh, it was some sandwiches. Uh, was it for now a delivery? Now non-existent so? company. Oh, yeah, no, it was delivery. It was short range delivery in like the business district, so all like close together. So it was a lot of interesting stuff happened because you got the people on the street, you got weird building lobbies, you got um, the streets. Just riding a bike in Alabama uh, is an interesting thing because there's no laws really protecting cyclists in Alabama yet. Like uh, <laughs> they don't like us. They don't like us at all. Um, like you can actually. I believe you can still run over a cyclist and kill them as long as you don't admit, like, as long as you're like, oh, I didn't see them. And that's like the end of the. <laughs> that's like, so okay, bad. That's terrible. Have a good day. We're going to go inform their family. Uh, you... <laughs> thanks for participating. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, no, but nothing really bad happened while you were doing it for you. Uh, not during the streams. Um, I actually started the streams because of uh, some concerns. It's like, well, at least now I'll have, like, maybe their license plate as they speed off. Mm -hmm. I'm a VOD, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a Russian dash cam measure. So is the main reason that you stopped doing that because uh, the job ceased to exist? Yeah, the job ceased to exist. The owner um, made a lot of bad choices uh, and I think preferred some form of drugs over some more scrupulous uh, ah. investments. <laughs> well, There's a lot of things wrong, but I think they actually the corporate uh, a structure, because that's like a big franchise thing, the corporate structure is going to actually reclaim those stores, and it might come back. And I might go back to it, baby! But now I'm working <laughs> a real job at an office, so I've broken out of food service. That's nice. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So uh, what, are you, um, what are you planning next in terms of streaming? Okay, next, uh, I... Decided I really wanted a mug with my logo on it. Uh, I've seen and that. And so we launched a merch store. <laughs> uh, uh, partially because now that I've, I'm finally like financially stable, I can actually do giveaways. You know, like the, like BitBoss giveaways, like get some stickers and stuff to give out. Uh, so merch, not it, it's really exciting, not because I expect anyone to ever actually buy any of the merch, but because now I can give it to people and have it for myself. And that's... Yeah. That's fine. See, that's really, yeah, that's really enticing, line. but I, I've never found a good enough, like, I tried to have a little poke around the Streamlabs version of, like, the store, uh, and oh, it just, yeah. it just wasn't that great. Yeah. It was a bit limited, I think, with the design. It's limited in that there's no stickers. What the heck, Streamlabs? Come on, please get on that. I need yeah, stickers. Yeah, there's, like, to tons of clo clothing this deck. Tank tops, vest tops, pullovers, zip-up hoodies. Oh, well, amount of choices on the tops, yeah. Yeah, but, like, um, accessories, but... it was, like, mug or nothing. It was like yeah, yeah, or like I I can get a phone cover. Oh, so they do have the new all over shirts, like a a print that covers the whole thing, That's and cool. like this kind of stuff is what I kind of wear on stream in general. So it, it could be cool if I have this, but like with my own logo and the galaxy patterns, I kind of like that. It. Yeah, and again, that's, that's cool. literally just so I could buy and wear myself. Maybe not the best reason for a merch uh, shop to open, but still exciting, you know. Well, no, I think that's a perfectly good reason. Like, I, I really want a hat, a cap, uh, like a baseball cap with my Mel RM on it, like a black one. Yeah, you know, I've seen that on a few channels, and it looks good. You can't get good... hats on the Streamlab merch store, but I was looking at um, Printful, and they do them. Mm -hmm. But um, the problem with Printful, I noticed, I like... It, you have to go like if you want to sign up and get your money through Amazon you have to go through this ridiculous process that takes like five weeks uh, to kind of declare yourself as a company and I was just like no <laughs> that I mean yeah, as much as that I love seems a hat, like a big process to go through it it's a really big process like for, yeah. it's especially the, the level of streaming that I'm at it's just it's like no I mean uh, you know <laughs> it'd be worth <laughs> For someone like yourself, Will Theory, but for myself, I was just like, no, I'm not at that stage yet. It's not I'm not sure if that'd be worth it for me. I'm pretty lazy with that. <laughs> yeah. So I got to ask. My humans looks okay now. I got asked the lights in your background. What, what, what's all that about? <laughs> Is it just like? Uh, are they disco lights, aren't they? Uh, it's just a little like um like yard party light. I, oh, uh, okay. It doesn't quite reach. The core doesn't quite reach, but it's just like some ten dollar thing from Amazon that um we got 
for a festival. Uh, And then I was like, man, I wish I had a green screen and I could do some kind of light effects. And then I looked at it and and then that happened. I have to say, for $10, that's really cool, actually. You can definitely add something to the background. Yeah, it's very unique. Yeah. Yeah. With the exception of, you know, like the initial uh, computer, because you need like, I don't know, an okay computer. You can get pretty much everything you need for streaming for under 50 bucks, whatever it is. Like. (laughs) I've never actually needed a fancy thing for streaming yet. <laughs> yeah, that, I wouldn't say that streaming is a cheap hobby, but at the same time, you can cut corners and do. Well, if you're already gaming, it's basically free. Well, that's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what that's something that me and Mel are probably going to go for in a, a future episode. A bit rated. We're thinking about making a, a really cheap list of like good quality products that we can like put on stream. Oh well, who's that? that that's cute. This is Sean Lashowska Revolver Ocelot the Cat. She uh, <laughs> what? she likes to get on my lap. And so I, she's named after Revolver Ocelot from a male, yeah, but yeah. his first name is Shalashaska, and that's her first name. Oh. She's a normal. So I, I kind of do this with her to see if I can like bother her into leaving, because sometimes she gets a little <laughs> pushy when she gets on your lap. She's like, it's like petting a bomb. You don't know. You don't know how it's going to go. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. Um, but yeah, no, we were saying, um, um, yeah, we're, we're trying to, we're going to maybe make a, a list of like some really cheap, but like good quality like mic headset um green screen uh like just cheap streamer starter kit and then like the high-end stuff and talk about like where what part of your channel do you think you should upgrade that sort of stuff i have a lot of opinions on that i would also maybe we can get back on for that uh get you back on for that episode the tldr is go cheap for almost everything especially mics oh my god and web we're getting these like ridiculous amount of p webcams it's like are you outputting higher than 720 like, <laughs> the picture in the picture of that like technically if, if you get it 30 frames per second camera or maybe 60 if you're if you're streaming at 60 you can get like 20 bucks you can get the best webcam you're going to need even if you go full screen like come on <sighs> come on can we, uh, can we see your setup? Is that- well not oh. ever gonna need but early on you know when you're just doing like the little little talking head stream you know like only unless you're starting out with podcasts and full screens you can get away with like a 280p camera. <laughs> I di- see. I disagree. I. I. I uh, okay. Well, th- we was gonna save this topic. I, I disagree. Oh, we can save, I, we can I, save it. I just the. Uh, is- I see people stream uh, with like a terrible like 240p camera, and I'm like, ah. Even this, per- this- it's like almost low effort. It's like, well, they don't can't bother to invest in a better camera than. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like my friend, camera, not gonna put, though, call him out, but he uses the Xbox Connect camera, and I'm like, Ugh. Oh. <laughs> I'd have to see it. I have to see it. Uh, you know, even the Logitech C whatever, that's super cheap one, mm-hmm. like that looks great. That's like, the one you want. That was probably the one I'd suggest on the list. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Can we? Uh, can we? Is it possible to see your setup at all, or Thulu? Would that be too inconvenient? Um, what do you mean by I that? I don't think I the camera get. Oh nice man, idea. my desk is a ma- hold on, let me clean up. <laughs> but my life is a wreck, don't judge me. I just started a new like a nine to five and I'm like very Working behind on all the things I should what a way to make a living. Okay, I've worked in food service for like twelve years and I just got a job outside of food and I'm like, wait, break time? I'm like, yeah, and I'm like sign up for your, your benefits. I'm like, wait, benefits? I'm like, yeah. I see where you're like, coming from here. <laughs> wait a minute. Okay, okay. So my oh, setup is, um, like, uh, embarrassing. Uh, I got this mic, though. I like the, the, the blue snowball ice with the arm. Yeah, cool. I got uh, two screens. Got one on top I got of the a computer. Other, I like yeah, I was going to say the one on top of the other screens. Are, uh, I do the... like the, up, the the one above the other. It's it's helpful for a lot of stuff. Um, do you some any... games aren't coded for it. Do you have any lights, uh, like special stream lights on you, or is it just not, uh, the, the normal? Room? I just have a lamp on. <laughs> a lamp. Uh, uh, I'm actually, that's the next thing I'm getting is some like $15. Um, I was going to say, I, I paid. Overhead lights from home. It works. It's fine. It looks great. I paid £30. It, yeah, it, it could be better, but it, it does work. That that was like, that's been my thing for, for all a while when I really couldn't afford anything. Well, yeah. does it work? So it'll be like thirty nine dollars, I guess. I, I paid thirty pound, and it, two proper like the the softbox lights that came with bulbs, and you get two of them on tripods yeah. and everything, and that's all you need. The, the boom, one each side. Yeah. it's great. It's really affordable. Mm-hmm. Uh, you like might it. you might enjoy this uh, little thing because um, 
Well, I was playing Skyward Sword about, uh, last month, and uh, when I was playing it, I was standing up. Uh, you might just about be able to see this. When I'm standing up, uh, at the top of my head, kind of, you can see the light and everything. So what I actually, this is just a normal, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it, like a lampshade. I put um, two pieces of A4 paper, I sellotape them to that. There you go! Yeah, so, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. solutions to modern problems. Exactly. DIY it just stream hacks. The light out. It was, yeah, it was great. <laughs> That's all I needed to do, and it looked absolutely fine. <laughs> <laughs> Improve, adapt, overcome. Adapt, overcome. <laughs> uh, so we had another topic before I, I derailed us, and I don't remember what it was. <clears throat> yeah, it's fine, we roll with the punches, who knows. Um, <laughs> so what else do you sort of stream? You said you, you really went into the co-op games. Interesting that you use co-op, because when someone says co-op to me, I think, like, couch co-op split screen. Uh, or like, ah. but when uh, you just kind of mean online multiplayer, so that was but yeah, PVE or even the squad based games. Like I'll play Apex; it's nice. Yeah, uh, any any of the games really that's that's uh, I play like most games with a single play. I guess I'm saying I avoid competitive games these days, uh, unless it's a game that I really like. Like if it's Pokemon or something, I'll I'll get in. But um, I haven't really been competitive since uh, I don't know, I was like 15, and that that was a while ago now. So. Uh, <laughs> Definitely have more fun like playing with others than against others, especially one v one games. Those kind of pretty much I, I dive into anything, but like yeah. I don't know, Mortal Kombat. Not not don't have a lot of fun playing Mortal Kombat these days. Great series. Mm. Uh, so I've, I've uh, been been doing a lot of partnerships with indie game devs. It's really easy to get a hold of indie game devs and like contact them one to one. And so been getting a lot of like a. I'll stream your game for you. And I'm like, cool. Here, here's like three free keys. Give give some to your friends. Give them away on, on the on the stream. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Hi, thanks. Nice <laughs> to meet you. By the way, fan of the game. I'm like, oh, thanks. <laughs> like, it's cool to like kind of have some people who are because of the work that they're doing. Uh, sort of your idols. Just be like, hey, please play this game. I'm like, well, okay. I was, I was maybe gonna. Okay, all right, I was going to maybe buy it. <laughs> but... buy this anyway, but I'll play it yeah. free, sure. Um, even, um, I did a thing, I wasn't sure how I felt about it. I did my first sellout sponsorship, uh, like, sponsored game stream. For, it was like it was like $10, $15, um, mm-hmm. which is kind of cool to actually get paid for it, but I don't ever want that to be my focus. So I uh, try to downplay that, but I really just wanted the game for free. Uh, Earth Defense Force 5, I think, which EDF is just sort of like a really fun, uh, like, hokey Godzilla series. I don't know. I, I love it. And so it was great to actually get a opportunity to play a game that I wanted to play for free. And they're like, I'm going to give you $5. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I'm glad to meet someone on the same side because uh, Zendo and I uh, on the opposite sides of the whole. Um, uh, playing a, a game that's competitive because Zendo loves all the competitive games and I yeah. always steer away from them. I mean, I'll play Apex with him um, just for a bit of a, a laugh, but I'm crap at it. Oh, Apex is great. I don't <laughs> even like competitive games or battle royale games. It's I'd a damn fine game. Play with people rather than against them. Whereas oh, yeah, same. Way. Yeah. That's awesome. Warframe is great for that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think that's just about the right time to uh, move on to the next uh, part of the show. I was just going to ask one thing. You've been streaming quite yeah. a while. How long have you been streaming for now? Love you. Um, what month is it? It's I guess... Uh, April? 21st? I think three years now. I think three I really years. started streaming wow. in uh, February 2016, but kind of on and off. You know, there was a hiatus for yeah. a while. There was there was a lull. You know, things kind of ebb and flow naturally. Mm, absolutely. Uh, but I've definitely learned a lot. I've made a lot of amazing friends I wouldn't trade for like anything. Like, oh my, hundreds of just incredible people I would have had no chance to meet otherwise. That's I awesome. really liked Twitch for that. Like, yeah. Wow. yeah feel, Not at all yeah. what I expected going into it. I don't know really what I expected, but it's been a crazy trip. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's oh, a man. crazy trip, isn't it? Streaming. That's kind of why we do it. There are amazing people on here. Yeah. I exactly. Do, right. Yeah, like you, Pondy. <laughs> oh. So we have a bit of a controversy. So this is what we kind of like to do for section two. So the question is, is all right, let me start with preface this. Is everyone aware of a, a website called Twitch Strike? Do you know what Twitch Strike is? Yeah, Hopefully. yeah. Yeah, okay, sweet. Um, so uh, the question is, so, maybe should we you... should explain what Twitch Strike is to okay, the viewers yeah. that don't know what it is. So Twitch the Strike... Analytics site. Yeah, it's kind of like an analytics site. It tells you exactly uh, 
how many people are streaming a certain game. Uh, it's like to find out the most viewers of a certain game with the least people streaming it, so you've got the more chance to get to net more viewers. Um, and yeah. it's, it's a really good, I'll use the word tool, uh, but people live by it. People only stream for what, and it's only for like that hour, so it's really up to date. Um, and uh, people live by Twitch Strike, and this is what we kind of wanted to talk about. Should you play games? What's fun and what you want to play? Like, a, a, like, should I go now and play Apex because I enjoy it? Bear in mind, it is a saturated game. Or should I play what I know will get views, such as insert name here from Twitch Strike? You know, um, mm. I'm, I'm actually going to open up Twitch Strike. And have a little look now. Which, uh, what's hot, and what's not. But what do you guys think? Also keeps track of uh, the ownership of like the what the, the top like ten percent channels. Like how much the people at the top have in percentage of views. So yes. it can find it, it, it's good for finding uh, games that are unsaturated or undersaturated, and games which have more of a widely spread uh, view ratio between like big channels and, and small channels. Mm-hmm. But so, it's also an analytic site and is therefore not gospel. Interestingly <laughs> enough, so this chess uh, is the top one. Only 29 channels are streaming it and there's over uh, 8,400 views. Um, 19% only owns the top 5% of the views, which is still a fair bit, but... PUBG, the inspect, in, I can't even read that, Imperator Room, uh, with only 15 channels streaming it and like 3,000 views. But then there's PUBG, uh, with 1,000 people streaming it, but the top 5% is 0%, which is pretty nuts. And there's that's like 13,000 views. Okay. Oh. So, um, what do you think then, uh, Lothar? Do you think that people should, like, are better off using that site and streaming what is going to get them views or streaming what they find fun? Um, Even if it's a saturated game. I think the first thing to keep in mind is that every channel is different. Like, every channel's viewer base is different. And so there's going to be a lot of disparity. Oh, God, hold on. I just got double... I just fucked up my audio. Okay. Uh... (laughs) So you, you've like you've got like the, depending on the the follower base that you've built over time uh, from streaming, you're gonna have possibly an entirely different uh, expectation from your viewers uh, that has nothing to do with Twitch Strike at all, like with with what's popular or not. Like I've seen um I've seen channels grow oh, go from nowhere to really big on PUBG when it was the most saturated. And I've seen you playing like the smartest game to stream. Uh, going nowhere because it has more to do with you know your own channel and what you're doing and whether you're having fun um and even um the the, the games that are like the best to stream uh you might get some new viewers from it but uh it it all has to do more with uh your own particular situation like i think how much fun you're going to have is a huge factor into it like if it's a game if you find out that a game you're passionate about playing is in the top uh things on some some analytic site it can be really good for you because you can you know pick between one of your favorite games, but uh, I haven't had much success going outside of the games that I would normally be playing just for it. Uh, I will say Twitch Strike is a great way to find uh, trending indie games because uh, if an indie game shows up on that, uh, check it out. Yeah, that's, any time that's an indie sure. game spikes on any analytic sites. Right. Uh, so it's a mixed bag. It definitely shouldn't like any analytic site. It shouldn't be taken as gospel because you should take into account as many factors as you can because uh, there's a lot going on as far as like what actually determines viewer and at the end it's cool that anybody shows up to watch any of us so that is very yeah that's i think there's 100%. there's better things to focus on i guess is, is what i'm trying to say yeah i agree with that i'd say um with twitch strike i i can see that being a really like, if you can do it seamlessly, if you can jump from chess to PUBG and then bring those viewers because they're into you and you can bring them through any game, but you started on Fortnite. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, but if I you can bring oh, them to I'm any game, then that's really... how you grow. That's how you grow. That You can get those viewers to come and watch whatever you play, where it's just chatting, the whatever. The is one of the best moves, dude. The bait and switch, <laughs> right? If you can get I that... I do it all the time. And follow, and follow Twitch Strike... Then uh, 
that 100% is how you will grow. Like, it just will. But at the same time, do you want to be playing Rome Imperator that I can't even pronounce? No. No, that sounds like a terrible game. I, d I hate those sort of RTS style games. I'm, a I'm already even assuming it's RTS. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, yeah, it would definitely have to be a game that but you're then, already passionate about. Do you sell out? Like a exactly. Do you sell out for the views because, like, the that's how you're going to grow your channel? Or really... Is it more that you're going to sacrifice all that and not even look at Twitch Strike and just stick to playing Apex all the time or whatever's big? Do you know what I mean? So, I think uh, a middle ground has to be uh, reached mm -hmm. carefully for that. Yeah, and definitely so. never play a game you don't want to play. I think that's a terrible idea. I, I think that's like always a bad idea in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Like, no matter how good the, the stream it is, if it's a game that you're not interested or excited about at all, I would recommend playing a game you like instead or are likely to like even if it's a new one you know yeah I, yeah. Think, I think that's that's kind of my opinion on the whole thing like i think a lot of people who set out with the goal uh to get big on uh, big on twitch um that aren't you know right at the beginning and there's like no one watching and all that kind of thing they might fall into the trap of seeing uh something on twitch strike and being like oh this is the perfect game for me to play because it will get me loads of views but then it's a game that they don't even like and if it's, if you play a game that you don't even like on stream it's going to come across and people aren't going to watch you because they're like this guy clearly isn't interested in this game this is really boring that kind of thing so i i think it's not like for someone who's just died it's probably better just to completely ignore it it's, it's or mostly ignore it maybe mm -hmm. it like like you said uh Lord Thulu, if a game comes up on there that you already know you like then yeah go yeah straight for like it. right now looking at PUBG and that uh, on that statistic i i used to like PUBG. I, i'll play PUBG, and maybe yeah. that'll be good for my channel for me if i go and play PUBG later or something and I'm like, yeah. that's what I'm thinking now. But if, but like you say, like the Rome Impotato game, I would never play. And my viewers would be like, well, why is he playing this? Like, even they would know, you know? Exactly. Yeah. So I think that is definitely a trap that like new uh, new streamers would go, uh, it's maybe fall into. Is It's like you sort of said, like, take it as gospel, go straight for that and ignore everything else. And then, you know, then that's going to be a problem for them and things aren't going to happen. And it's going to, you know, cause issues and cause them to maybe burn out and, and, and give up, that kind of thing. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it is a great tool. I, I wouldn't put too much stock in it, um, but it's definitely yeah. something that's worth keeping an eye on, especially like you said for the indie games and stuff like that. It's definitely worth keeping an eye on, but I think there are a lot of people out there that pay too much attention to things like that. That's, I think, the point I was heading toward, which is um, it's another example of... I think every time you are focusing on numbers over content, uh, in my opinion, you've already made a mistake. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that's starting off point, like, uh, and I've seen it time and time again, and there's not too much you can do about it from the outside looking in. And, like, what do you tell somebody who's, who's done, uh, uh, who's going down that route? Because as soon as you're looking at the numbers instead of your content, it is so obvious to everyone, especially the viewers, you know? And, like, that's what will keep, uh, new people who drop in from staying is, you, oh, man, like, I think the most obvious glaring example that thankfully I don't see much of is when they actually have the viewer count like on stream as part of the uh, part of the overlay. Oh, mm. uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it's I, I don't see the reason for that because so there's so much going on on like my other screens that sell like sell me the viewer count anyway. So I think that would just clutter up my overlay to be honest. Um, I um, I actually have a recommendation to everyone, which is keep it <laughs> hidden <laughs> while you're streaming. I've, is that I've what you tested do? it. Oh yeah, I actually um I tested it. I did two weeks with it not hidden, and then I went back to it being hidden. And I I current I track an average twenty percent viewer increase when I have it hidden. Uh, really? Controlling for all the factors that I could. Yeah, it was it was a very unscientific study, but it was possibly technically a study. Uh, and I hereby challenge all of you to hide your viewer count. Just try it out. Just try it out. I tried I, I did it. actually do that recently. But okay, go on. It was it, it was stuck on two. It, like, it was one of those things where you know when you start the stream and it just gets stuck and it's yeah, stuck. Oh, glitches yeah. out. Also, it it's been doing you. that a lot lately. It glitches yeah. out. And I actually had a really great stream and I checked the metrics afterwards and I I did really well and I was like, That's see, it. <laughs> I feel like I like seeing my view so this has changed but um I like seeing my view account like almost every couple of minutes seconds. Bob, thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate that. I uh, just want to shout hey. that out. Um, 
Yeah, no, I, I like seeing my view account, like, every couple of minutes. Just because, like, if I'm doing something and I've gone and dropped, like, three or three to five viewers just in the last minute or two, I'm clearly doing something wrong that people are not liking. And then I can adjust oh. what I'm doing, like, on the fly, almost. That's why I kind of like keeping an eye on it as well, because then if you know it what I mean? drops, it's you like, kind of know that a few minutes ago you clearly did something that people didn't like. Yeah, <laughs> and maybe it's remember to not to do that again. Gauge myself, so it's, yeah, literally, let, remember not to do it again. Kind of think, okay, well, I was being a bit of a retard back then, or a bit of a <laughs> okay, Lord Thule, thank you. Was he? We should have done that with Bob <clears throat> subbed. Just yeah, you yeah. know, what, I feel I feel odd if it is. Come and have my hearty face. <laughs> That's my thing. Uh, but yeah, yeah. So, what do you what do you think about your view account then, Lofu? You actively hide it, like. Uh, I'll go back and look at uh, like hour to hour uh, summary, like after the stream, and I'll check like actual like deep analytics, like solely know uh, once a month. But I try to focus more. I I really think that there's a difference in content when you're focusing on the content rather than. I, I feel like the viewer count, for me at least, is actually just a distraction entirely. Like, the really? less I think about it, in general, the higher it goes up. The more I am just in the moment. Because, uh, you know, improvisation is actually a thing I struggle with and maybe one of the most important parts of streaming. Uh, never been a good okay. D&D DM, I think. Uh, because, <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, improvisation in the brain is generated when you are less self-aware, basically. Like, when you become as as unself conscious as possible, and I think thinking about the viewer count and like how that might correlate to my actions over the past five minutes, or whatever, can actually bring me down uh, and take away from just potentially being, you know, being as out there as possible, and to bring on the zany and the hype and the fun because you know people are here to have fun. I and honestly, streamers should be too. Yeah, absolutely. I think like chat's more forgiving than we think they are because like if you're really in that hype moment like I know you play Warframe and stuff and if it's a clutch moment or yeah. like an apex you've got to be quiet and, and chat's kind of like more forgiving than you expect you know they know it's a clutch moment they know you're concentrating they don't expect you to be set reading set uh Bob saying he's just himself while you're while you're while you're in you know that's just the last chat line um but while you you know in the moment they're, they're more ex accepting of that and I think uh, as streamers we forget uh we're like trying to do everything and then you might fuck up the gameplay and someone who's there for the gameplay want will then leave just because he wasn't concentrating on that sort of thing oh I hedge against that by not being good at games so people never <laughs> like streams for the gameplay Same. and because I can't focus enough on one game because I've, I've already streamed too much I'm like, exactly uh, I share, uh, the Warframe people maybe, but generally, in general, I'm just like, ha, huh, I wonder how it would be to be good at games. I feel like that's a huge, I'll have to try that out sometimes. <laughs> I was, so, so, like, I'm good at FPS, but I'm not usually amazing at, like, Fable and stuff like that. Like, I get through it, but it'll take, I'll go the wrong way, like, nine times. And it was quite funny last night playing Psychonauts. I, it's a blind playthrough, and just because I'm, like, it's so much like Zelda where you have to explore and look around corners and you if you look around <laughs> a corner that's like an alley, you probably find a chest there. And it was almost like <laughs> to a viewer, and I was like thinking this while I was playing it, I was like, I'm just done finding all these secrets. I remember I happened to jump down this log, which was the secret tunnel, and I'm like, I swear this is a blind playthrough, guys. I didn't know that was there. <laughs> and it was it's almost just... like, oh, it's too good. <laughs> it did look your leg, RPG design. It did. It did look <laughs> suspicious. You expect me not to know when I can blow things up with bombs? Come on. <laughs> We've been through these steps already. Uh, speaking of, I love the games that subvert the tropes. Those are like maybe my favorite little subcategory of, of indie games. What do you Apple mean by sandwich, that? You guys, uh, I guess the most popular example I can immediately bring up is Undertale, right from the oh, tutorial okay. where she actually holds her hand through the tutorial and you're like, oh, what is this? Um, there's a game coming out Geez, I want to say unspecified time this year, Knuckle Sandwich, which is just, oh my god, look it up, just look it up, oh my god, it is, it's, I guess Undertale on drugs, maybe, but that's oversimplifying it, Undertale there's a lot going on, on there. I feel like Undertale's already kind of a little bit on drugs, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah add way more drugs, like, uh, have you seen, uh, Jazz Punk, have you seen Jazz Punk? No, I haven't. Oh. Oh, just cross Undertale with Jazz Punk, uh, I, and then look up Jazz Punk, I guess. <laughs> Bad analogy. Uh, it's fine. It's good fine. games. Uh, just games. 
Virgo versus the Zodiac, another example. Uh, games where it starts to take you in a classic RPG trope direction, and then I don't know, say suddenly kills off that character, or you know, goes an entirely unexpected <laughs> game route of because there's. Is it? <laughs> Lisa is a good one where they're just taking every single trope and throwing it in your face and then stabbing you with it. <laughs> good games. Good games. Good, good. All right, I think uh, should we kick this up a notch and uh, hit, head to our clip show? So I don't know if you found the file we put in the chat. A little bit early. I got distracted. Uh, no, that's fine. Yeah, you can... the file, the document. Yeah, the, I have that. The document. There you go. You you pull that up. Uh, pull up these clips. This and, first one. Yeah, pull up the meat. the top clip. Yeah. All right. So basically, what we're doing here, we're going to play a game, right? Uh, we, there's two. Uh, there's two clips of each. We've got six clips in total. So there's two clips of each streamer, and you're going to watch uh, the two clips, and then we're going to decide uh, whether we're going to subscribe to this streamer, follow them, or just dip. And leave and leave them be. Oh, so this is like Kill Mary Bang. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> oh, it's literally just like it sounds. I don't know what the origin of it is. Just a thing that people seem to do. Um, you list three people and then decide which you would kill. Yeah, Mary or bang. kill Mary or fuck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, I was yeah. I was cleaning it up a bit, but yeah. Uh, no, it's an it's, a, it's an X rated channel. It's fine. <laughs> uh, oh. Freezing. <laughs> All right. Is everyone ready so, to start this first clip? It's a Fortnite clip. Okay. You okay, okay. Okay. So we're gonna watch. Um, so it's, let, let me clarify. So it's the well, we're gonna watch two clips from each streamer. They're completely random streamers we've just found from the the long list of people streaming. Um, and we're gonna watch two clips, and then we're gonna review both clips. Um, and see whether we we're gonna follow, sub, or dip. And obviously, we're gonna explain our reasons behind that as well. Uh, and we'll, okay, we'll three, okay. two, one play this. So let me put some audio on. All right, everyone ready? Have we, uh, ready. Have we changed scene, by the way? Yeah, yeah I'm, Sorry, I'm on bad. this. I got this. <laughs> this is play capturing. I have no idea how to do this. We're, we're great. Okay. You, All right. You ready? Three, yep. two, All right, one, play. God damn it. <laughs> what the, f the banana costume? It's fuck a ball, man. <laughs> you can do it. You can oh, do it. Shit. <laughs> I'm invested. I am okay. invested. Here we go. Go on. No, <laughs> end this. Ah, ah, ah. Who clipped that? Damn it! <laughs> that was like anti-climax porn. God damn it. <laughs> Wow. Right, so we move on to the second clip. Yeah. Uh, Pull right, up the yeah, uh, second clip. Uh, let us know when you're ready, there, little foodie. Okay, I'm ready. All right. I'm ready. Mouse places in the wrong name. Oh no! I can what? fix it. Your your name oh, wrong. Yeah, you this, know. This what? happened last time, Zendo. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. Well, we had overlay problems, didn't we? So. It's... Yeah. Well, we did. That's true. There you go. Uh, Ed editing on the fly. Dumb fucking OBS. Right, there we go. Oh, we fixed it. Ah, oh, magic. Hey. Right, everyone queued up All on right. the second clip. Uh, I was. I'm not now. Right, okay, I'm ready. Three, two, one, play. Welcome back, Rich. <laughs> what? Oh, this is, um, Diablo 3. <laughs> yeah. Did you just yeah. say welcome back, bitch? <laughs> it was like it was never oh there. Oh my god. What did you just say? <laughs> what was never there? What? I'm like, wait, welcome back, bitch. <laughs> Who's wow? What's going on there? <laughs> what did you say? I said, welcome back, rich. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. I swear to God, somebody clipped that shit. It sounded like you said, welcome back, bitch. I heard that. That's what I heard. All right, okay. Somebody clip that right, shit so... is going to be my last words, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I want that on my graveyard. I'll clip that. <laughs> it's going to be written on your gravestone, right? Yeah, my gravestone. Somebody clip that shit. Clip that shit. <laughs> so, oh, no, I'm... Uh... What, do you, what do you think of Sorry, that? yeah, go on. Like, yeah, I think see, of the both uh... clips. Wait, wait, wait. We're going to talk about that one, then. Yeah. Oh, they seem to be having fun. Mm -hmm. I'm for it. Uh... Let's see. Uh, I'm not sure if I like or dislike the uh, P 
PS1 3D uh, girl face rig thing. Um, but I I'm... don't not like it. I got two things. I don't to not say. like it. I prefer and a face I, cam, but I think I support people's thing. choice to not use a cam, so I I try to just dance around that topic. If you watched the first episode, I do not support that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The first episode of Bit Raid was actually on that topic. Yeah. Hmm. Um, I have to. Okay. Re-watch. So, uh, Lord Fuzo, do you, does she have your sub, your follow, or are you dipping? Um, I give a follow. Follow. Yeah. Give a follow. I want to check that out. They seem to be having fun. Uh, uh, the kind of content I usually go for is people who are enjoying themselves. Mm-hmm. Uh, She's also got my follow. Had somebody in voice chat to talk to. Yeah, yeah so that's good. good. She's also Hold got up. my follow. Um, I, I thought, especially considering I know Fortnite, and there is not a ball and uh, until it towers for a, a, like. I wonder where she's got that ball from because she's clearly kicked that across the map. So that's the most impressive part to me. Um, but uh, and it's very anticlimactic, but it's really fun. She she seemed like she was having fun the whole time. She not taking the game too seriously. Um, she loved it. The second clip I thought was a bit lame, um, I'll be honest, but maybe that's just because I have a hard heart and I don't care about swearing. <laughs> um, the, as to the face cam thing, uh, again, I would love for her to... Pref- I prefer to have a face cam, but if you haven't got a face cam, guys, this is definitely a close second, like having a, something to look at and like respond to um, is, is way better than not having a, a face cam at all, I would say. It definitely st- puts, uh, makes you stand apart from the crowd. Uh, and I answered this on Twitter the other day, uh, earlier today as well. Someone was, like, talking about how stream titles and stuff. Um, and at the end of the day, when you think about it, your stream title and your overlay slash face cam, is that's the only things that is going to pick you apart from the long list of streamers on mm. what X game here. You know, that's mm. the only thing that makes someone click. So you... Mm. you you're doing yourself a disservice not having face cam, but we're not going to go into that. Uh, yeah. Let's get... Uh, so, yeah. No, she's got my follow and uh, maybe even a sub in the future. Uh, I've, right. li- I've just clicked follow now. All right, cool. This one gave her so, 50 bits. My, live. <laughs> my opinion, then. Um, I think, yeah, I, I just about... I'm, I'm a bit on the fence on this one, but I just about uh, follow, uh, I think. Um, there's a couple of, like, concerns I had uh, when I was watching it because um, there was something that we mentioned in a previous Bitrated episode about... Um, uh, mm-hmm. Stream is just basically playing with their friends and not really interacting with chat so much. And uh, I got those vibes from the uh, two clips that we watched. Yeah, mm. that's um, true. But that's also a thing some viewers go for, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, that's the kind of thing I prefer, vibe. though. Uh, I prefer people that are going to um, interact with chat. And that's yeah. kind of that's where the party is, in my opinion. And that's actually why I don't particularly like going on Discord while I'm streaming. Oh, definitely. I agree with that. Also, I think just in general... Uh, Whatever your side of that is, uh, you should definitely be aware of it and, like, mm. you know, focus on and capitalize on it. Like, mm. and even for me, I kind of do a little bit of both. Um, mm. And I'll I'll have, like, disclaimers in chat. Like, I'll let people know, like, you know, tonight's more of, like, a hanging out with the boys in VC. And uh, I, I might be missing some chat. I'll, I'll be reading chat, but I won't be able to, you know, reply out loud. You know, like, yeah. make it clear to your viewers, like, what the, the, the bar is you're setting for yourself uh, early on and regularly. Uh, and that way, uh, they know when I'm not in my new, uh, normal thing. Like, for example, right now, I'm not, like, stopping to, to read out every yeah. line in chat, and they know, like, That's there's true. a reason. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I was like, so just, like, you know, communicating with, uh, with firstly, your current viewers and potential new viewers of, like, mm. what to expect from the stream, I think, can be really helpful with that, no matter which side of the device you're on. And the um, in terms of uh, the, the topic of the, um, the like the animated thing, uh, I think like I, I like Xander would prefer a face cam, but it is the next best thing. It is actually quite good. Um, I, I don't think uh, the the clips that uh, you saw necessarily show it off very well, but it did show a little bit of um, facial expression, um, and yeah, um, it was quite emotive. It was it was good software. Pretty good. I'll call it. it yeah. yeah. It's it's a, it's pretty good as as an alternative, but it would have it still would have been better. I mean, we we discussed what we thought felt about face cam in the previous yeah. episode. Yeah. All right. Let's uh let's cl- cue up this next the next set of clips. All right. Because we're a hard push for time. Oh. You know, uh, I had a, really, a thought. But... Um, <laughs> since uh since it came up, I think I'd actually prefer either no cam or cam. I'm not actually sure if I like face rig at all. Thinking more okay. about it. Uh, one of my top five favorite streamers is uh, no cam. She just runs a really good stream. Uh, has a great voice, you know, is super interactive. Like, I I don't think you need I one, but it definitely, definitely helps. So I don't raid I, people without face cams either. 
But uh, you know, we're not going. We're not I going into this. Don't. We're not going into this. We're not doing it. Go <laughs> watch not, the previous not, episode. Moving next clip. Moving next on. Clip, next clip. Queued up. Everyone queued up. Now we're only two minutes. What the fuck? Um, we're not. We're not running out of time. We've only like two minutes into this segment uh, in terms of actual time because we started this segment early. Sure. So don't worry about sure. it. Right. Okay. So uh, I'm ready on the next clip. You ready, Lord Thule? I'm ready. Okay. All right. Are you ready, Tendo? Do you want to count down? Ready. Three, two, one. Play. Get about it. <laughs> Oh, I know a streamer that does this. Uh, Melody. Like his bedroom studio. Guys, um, I mentioned this earlier. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Okay, well, uh, actually... we'll, we'll keep the next clip. We'll keep the next clip and then... Yep. Uh-huh. Okay, which one was that? That was Sleepy uh, Healthy. Okay. Uh, I actually watch a lot of these kind of streams. Leroy Jenkins. Uh -huh. so we're on clip number four now. Okay, ready? Three, two, oh, one. Got it. Oh, wait, yep. Go, go. You got All right, it. I'm ready. Three, two, one, play. Could not add songs. No more free requests. I think your song's in, dude. Did you know, dude, that your song is in? Did you know, dude? <laughs> What song is what song are you trying to request? Secret message for, What is this? What is this? <laughs> 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 Starting soon. Uh, oh, that was good. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. <laughs> I appreciate oh, that. Oh my god. Okay, Lol Fula, you go. You go. <laughs> okay, um, he gets a follow from me. Um, I usually don't. Honestly, I don't think anybody's gonna get a sub for me because I usually watch somebody for a few weeks before I sub to him. But, uh, mm -hmm. uh I. I like his energy, um, he could use to work on the overlay, but I mean, who couldn't? Who couldn't? Uh, uh, he was, his <laughs> playing was all right. I hang out a lot in the open mic night in VR chat, and so it was kind of right on my alley. Uh, for, for me, it's definitely a follow. And, uh, you know, he, he seemed to have a good attitude. He seemed pretty positive from yeah. the little we saw. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, I, uh... Honestly, not a huge fan of music streams. That second clip was hilarious. I found that really funny, and he he, played, he reacted to it well as well. Um, he seems like he's a good guy, so I would give a follow, but like not a huge music guy, so I'm, I am going to dip. But um, I will say that in that first clip, I couldn't even tell what was going on. The audio was so, like, peaked. I was like, I get he was trying to melody the things together, Um but that audio just ruined me. I had to take my headset off. Like, it was ridiculous. So, for that reason as well, I am dipping. Uh, yeah, I think I mostly agree with Zendo. I mean, uh, he... Uh, I liked his setup. Uh, he had kind of a cool uh, setup, especially in the background, all that kind of thing. Um, but there's quite a lot of these streams, and I didn't mm -hmm. feel that he was really doing anything unique enough to stay. Uh, and I wasn't that keen on, like... Um, I suppose the closest thing is like his charisma. Um, so I, I don't know. I didn't hate it, but I think I'd probably still just about dip. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, let's get this this last set of clips together. Okay. Oh, I'm streaming right now. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, I'm not ready. <laughs> God damn it, all of you. <laughs> I'm ready now. I'm ready now. All right. Okay. Three, two, one, play. I'm streaming right now. You should get out of here. You're drunk. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Guys, this is my drunk sister. Hi. Hello. Jesus fucking Christ. You want to get out, please? <laughs> Hi, guys. Hello. She wants to be famous, apparently. <laughs> How was your date, Jenna? Do you want to tell us all about your Tinder date? Well, it went really well. <laughs> 
Fuck off. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay. All right. All right shall yeah. we, uh, shall yeah, we watch, watch the, the second clip? And then we can, we can talk about it. I want to say what the fuck's the dog. Oops. All right. Oh, jeez. All right. Uh, all right. Everyone ready? Oh. Okay. okay, I'm ready. Three, two, one, play. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I've been waiting. I've been waiting so much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, well, that was well, different. What do you think of that? Uh, <laughs> but it was an entertaining uh, follow alert. I I like. Um, I'm a fan of the shit post myself, mm. so I enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. The first one, I I can't quite put my finger on it, but I did not enjoy. Just my visceral reaction. I don't know uh, what exactly something about it. That's, fair That's all I have to say. So you're gonna dip? I'm gonna dip on that one, yeah. Fair really enough. interesting. So, right. uh, so um, I, the shoutouts for that awesome alert. Though. That was fun. I like. I don't know. I I, I watched it. I really didn't like that first clip. That really annoyed me because like, it, the drunk sister comes in. He's clearly uncomfortable. He wants her to go away. And then he engages her in conversation, and as soon as she joins the conversation, he tells her to fuck off again. Uh, yeah. yeah, I was invested. I, I wanted I to know how the it. date went. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't feel like that was very well handled uh, as a whole. It was kind of annoying to watch. I think um, that was a bad attempt at sarcasm. It was like, hey, why don't you just tell us about your date while you're at it? And then right. it was, it, okay. but it didn't come across that way. Yeah, I, I didn't get that sarcasm at all. Um, mm -hmm. I, no, I didn't get the sarcasm, to be honest with you, um, uh, Bob. And I, I just, it kind of annoyed me. Um, and then the second clip, it is funny, but um, generally when someone has an alert that is perfectly annoying, like that one is, I'm kind of done. So I would no. expect them to turn it off after like maybe one more of those. But I like that it was, uh, it seemed to cycle through different clips. Yeah, from, I, did, oh, what was I that loved. Movie? Yeah, I loved that. I don't know if he activated that manually or whether it was automatic. I think he might have activated it manually. I think he did so, it. Yeah, that was uh... brilliant. I'd like to see a few more people do that, and for that, I actually considered the follow, but the the rest of it is too annoying for me to stay. I'm afraid. Uh, I actually, I actually really enjoyed both clips, uh, and he has got my follow. Uh, I don't know what it is. He yeah. seemed to have yeah. a good stream energy about it. Uh, he was playing different games. It looked very engaging. I will say, a, a, what the fuck was that dog at the bottom of the first clip? That was super distracting. Um, and B, <laughs> on, even on the second clip, I'm just going to have to have a word with him and be like, dude, what's all this overlay? The overlay's huge. He had so much overlay going on, I was drowned, you know? Well, that's not even that much, but... I don't know, he's got green screens, he had good audio, right? He's got my he's got my follow for sure. I can't wait to see some more stuff from him. Um yeah, no, definitely. Uh, that was good. So yeah, awesome. Well, right, me, uh, um, switch back before to we go Lizzie. anywhere, um chat uh, has anybody in chat got any recommendations for a uh, an um a topic? Yeah, for or, a segment uh, two we've a got a future chat. Yeah, we've got a few yeah. ideas. We've got, uh, but obviously, if you guys want to hear anything in particular, we're looking for, like, controversies that Twitch streamers have that some streamers do and some streamers don't, and we can talk about the differences and why we think that's good or bad. Um, that's generally a good idea for a topic. I have one from, yeah, uh, looks like my bot that I typed in that uh, just says 720p, 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 720p. 720p? I'm a 1080p yep. guy. I'm a 1080. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. My P computer and my internet are both beasts. I don't see why I shouldn't be streaming at 1080. People are saying. Are you a Twitch partner? No. Then you don't. You aren't guaranteed downscale options for your viewers, which means uh, oh. with that quality, you have to keep in mind at all times that you are trading off <laughs> some people in rural areas with bad internet and mobile viewers and the like. We're gonna load in. 
uh, get buffering instantly because their bandwidth is too low for the like 5 MB or whatever bitrate to actually watch in 1080 uh, 60 FPS uh, and leave before they even get a chance to see you. Uh, and uh, I just think everyone who goes above 720 and even 720 30, I, there's there's more of a nuanced debate between 30 and 60. It, uh, but people who go above 720 before hitting partner need to keep that in mind because it is costing people that could uh, as your channel. Thank On you. The other hand, you might, I you didn't might know lose that. Uh, quality snobs if, at 1080 or you know at 720. I might be losing quality snobs, but I'd rather lose quality snobs. Or what's a nice way to say that? Uh, people who have refined taste and quality i would rather lose than people who would just like to watch it all you know what i mean in the name of inclusiveness master can't sense. watch me uh m apparently master can only watch me on audio only she can't watch above 160p oh uh, well for those wow. i mean for people who can't watch above 160 you just gotta hope that you win the twitch roulette and get the downscale options but for people right on the cusp i uh, uh that's why I recommend is it like up until you get partner. Each... Partners get guaranteed downscale options, and they don't have to worry, and they can do. Is it each stream that the it's like? Wait, some streams you get downscale options. Some streams randomly you don't. off of like a I think a lottery system. At the moment you go live, uh, or within like a few minutes of when you go live. Uh, I see downscale options on my mobile, but I'm just looking at it now. Yeah, like so. Basically, uh, each of your streams, and actually, you can you can so test this if you just pull up a bunch of right random affiliates. Uh, it's j basically just entirely random based on, mm -hmm. I think maybe the number of streamers or their current bandwidth limitations or something. Uh, huh. Because for each each downscale option, they have to I get basically it. So it's more like a separate stream. So I bet it's like more more like prime time stream time, but a bit later, uh, is uh, yeah. going to be you, uh, higher. If you start late night, you usually get them. Uh, mm. Or early morning, actually. If you start at like 4 a.m., you almost always have downscale options. And I've even seen some people like uh, start during prime time and then later on intentionally stop and restart their stream uh, just to try to like like tilt the system in, into uh, restoring them. But I think yeah, that's taking it a bit. Far. That's what Bob's just said. He said, hard. I make it a point to cycle my stream on and off until I get it. Yeah, I'm not going to do that because think about uh, Ooh, followers. Yeah, maybe at the start before you have any viewers. Oh, but it's going to blast their phone. Yeah, that they own. think about follow no. notifications. If you've got that bell on, pop, 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 email, email, email. Or, uh, I hate doing even doing live bots too. I hate even doing test streams um, for that reason. I did one in, like the other day, but I hate it. Mm. Yeah, um, uh, Bob, the Canadian guy, says uh, if you do fast it fast enough. enough, you'll get it before any notifications go off. Ooh. Well, that's More interesting. Snowy. Yeah, maybe that's yeah. something to try. But yeah, definitely looks like I'll be streaming in 720p next stream, guys. Try it out. I recommend it. Uh, well, this is what I actually... I. It's one of those things that's like... Um, I kind of like not bothered people about it. Like, I don't know, I'll probably figure out. But I started kind of being an evangelist about it for like pretty much, <laughs> I don't know, maybe all of February. I was just like, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, check your downscale options. Um, and I got some people to actually test it for me. The people that were receptive of like, hey, I've, you know, I, you know, start with a soft approach. Like, hey, and there's the thing about your, your settings that maybe could help increase your viewers, buddy, if you want to. And if they reply, didn't pop, know that you know, go thing. from there. Um, yeah. So, and a lot of people, like most people don't know, um, I don't remember where I found out. Anyway, uh, wow. I, uh, so, uh, I got actually some people to test it, um, to like track their, their metrics and the, like keep a, a point, like do like two weeks at 720 and then uh, go back to 1080 for two weeks, and, like go on and off. And you, it, you can check the solar known graphs. Like it's, there's a clear, like. 10 to even 30 percent increase in viewership uh just from the number of people that have more access to your content as bandwidth you know gets slowly spread out across the world how does everyone feel uh about raiding at the end of this because me and mella well, at least i was a little bit against it at first but now i'm opening it up we've we got a few people in here i'm happy you know i make it a point to raid at the end of every single stream always raid oh, yeah i was probably gonna go play some more frame and keep streaming for a few hours yeah for sure man I'm, i'll be live in an hour as well oh cool well, and then i'll have somebody to raid when i go off then Dope. <laughs> <Awesome>. <laughs> um cool. yeah even if it's just like one or two viewers always raid yeah sure well oh thank you for being an awesome guest thanks for coming on dude 
It was brilliant having you, man. It was great. Yeah, it was great being here. Thanks for the invite. And just randomly reaching out to me like that. This has been awesome, and I'm glad that it happened. Looking forward to our future potential conversations about cameras. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely yeah. want you back, totally. Yeah, for oh, sure. Oh, hold on. I have to do something real quick. Yeah, yeah. sure. Uh, who should we send a raid to? Lynn is online. Oh, what's he doing? <laughs> Uh, super animal right Sorry, that's been bugging me the whole time. What what, what was that you did? Oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm not gonna push that issue. <laughs> we could always raid into Lol Fulu. That, that, that makes sense. Uh, yeah. So you... I'll be alright. I'll be alright. Spread the love around. Oh, who's the the girl from the first clip? She's live. She's playing League of Legends. Um, but at the same time, I don't want people we see do the clips to see the show because <laughs> I don't know. It would be interesting. The shit talk. <laughs> I don't think we shit talk. I think we were honest and you know we were just you know, yeah we were just sure. people looking at a channel you know. Okay, well let sure let's let's do that. Let's let me find her channel again because I need to find the name unless someone can quickly find it for me. Evolia. Like and subscribe on YouTube, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, follow, and subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. Alright. So I'm saying. Uh, Raid Evolia. Uh, we will be live again next week for another episode. Okay. Cool. Hit that raid button. Let's send some love. Thank you again so much, Bob, for the sub and all of you guys for just being here and for Bit Raid episode three. Three of them we've done now. We've done three. So let's send some raid love. Peace out. Much love to you, faces. Thank you again, Lil Fulu. Goodbye. I have one thing. Yeah? Yes? Go, Craig. Go. Name. You go. True. Empathy and compassion are free to give and make you feel better and make the world a better place. Just throw that out there. It's a win-win. Amazing. Win. There are a few of those in life. Try it out. Boom. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Boom. Raid. 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 We've raided. We've raided. We hit the raid button. That's a wrap, guys. Raid. Alright, let's, uh, let's do a little...